finally get your degree after all these years? Um, I think it's just about finishing. You know, finishing something you always, uh, you start, I always try to do that. Uh, no matter what, I, ma I made a promise to my mother a long time ago. Uh, that was the one thing she was concerned about, even before the draft, before the football and everything. Uh, you know, just promise me you'll get your uh, degree and then promise me that you walk. You know, and uh, even as, uh, as busy I am, as busy as I am or whatever, you know, I made a promise to her. And then I think it's just to make my family proud. Uh, you know, the firstborn graduating. It's, uh, it, it's, a good, it's a good moment right now. What are your emotions today? You know, just ecstatic. I'm more, I'm more happy for them than I am for myself as far as, uh, you know, where I, I've had my career uh, for a couple years now, uh, what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, just to show them that, uh, you know, you can do it. And then to show anybody else, you know, no matter what's going on in life or what's happening, uh, you know, special people come from uh, ordinary places. You know, anybody can do what I'm doing. It doesn't matter who you are, what's going on in your life. You know, as long as you stick to it and keep moving forward, things can happen. Was there ever a doubt that you were going to finish this? No, it wasn't a doubt that I was going to finish it because I, I had it in my mind always. Um, some things came up. Uh, I had started initially uh, as soon as I got into the NFL. Uh, the, the first offseason I had, then uh, the next two offseason I had a couple surgeries and I uh, was focused on trying to uh, get my body back and get ready for the next season. And, uh, you know, I had people in the NFL, uh, some players, developmental people that helped us, uh, Harold Nash, uh, some other guys in New England, um, you know, just constantly pressuring me, peer pressure, good peer pressure, uh, just getting a degree. And they uh, they did everything they can, uh, they, they, that they could to be flexible with me, um, taking uh, jun junior college courses at uh, Dean College, and then this final internship I did. And, uh, you know, I had I had the best supporting cast that a person could ever have. Why finish this out? I mean, you, you're an NFL player, you have all the money you need. Why, why, do you, why did you really want to do this? Well, I said initially, it's all about just finishing things, starting things and finishing things. I, I preach that to my kids, I preach that to anybody I talk to. You know, uh, bad habits to, to start things and always leave them. You know, when, when times get rough or things don't go your way or it's not as flexible as you would have imagined it to be. So uh, anytime you start something, it's good to always finish because it, it shows where your character is as far as being persistent and always uh, looking forward to achieving things. What was your rank? internship? The internship was, uh, I'm a fine, I was, at the time it was a uh, fine arts animation. Now it's changed to art design uh, degree. But uh, the internship was working with the uh, production team in the NFL as far as uh, After Effects and we blended some of my animation work with some After Effects work. I have a DVD that I made. I don't have it with me, but uh, just a hard copy to let people know that I did work and I did finish something. I just wouldn't handle my degree. It's kind of funny to be an NFL star and then you're going back and being an intern now. Yeah, it was funny, man, because the first day I came in, they were like, you know, the, the intern has to get the lunch. And I said, uh, I said, I don't think that one's happening, but uh, I'm more than welcome to get lunch with you guys. So. Uh, it, it, was, it was good times, man. Uh, like I said, those guys were very flexible uh, with my hours and knew that um, I currently had a job and everything. And like I said, they were as interested as I was in their job. They were just as interested in mine. And, uh, you know, we had respect for one another and, you know, we got work done. Where does this rank as far as your career accomplishments? It's right up there with anything, man. Anything that I do uh, personally, uh, whether it was, uh, you know, the birth of my kids, uh, you know, my marriage, uh, my family, uh, going to the draft, uh, getting drafted, uh, any accomplishment, graduating high school, they're all up there at the same end. Because like I said, anything I do, I put my whole heart into it. And, uh, you know, I try to be as successful as I can be uh, anytime I do do something. So all of it means the same because I'm putting in the same amount of effort each time. You have some good memories with you today. Oh, uh, I have uh, my father, uh, my brother, uh, two sisters right here, my mother, my wife. Uh, that's one of my sons, Evan. And then the other one, he's a... Uh, He's in the blanket, and that's my niece over there. So I brought as many people as I could. Find them all up here? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I had to stay in Dallas to, uh, to take care of some work yesterday. So me and my wife flew in later. My parents uh, drove up because I got to fly back to Boston to make this transition to Philadelphia. Okay. And then uh, they got to drive back down. So everybody's kind of intermixing. My sisters have to go back to college. Uh, they're finishing up their summer, starting their summer courses. So everybody's crazy right now. So we all met up in this area over here. This is actually the first time I've been back uh, in a couple years. Um, uh, nostalgia, just everything's just flying through my head. Like every time I see something, it, it reminds me of something. And uh, it's just funny, man, because like I said, like the smell of the air or the way the wind's blowing at a given moment, like you just remember everything. And it, it's funny how the mind works. When Sunday Night Football and Monday Night Football come and they ask you to say your name and where you're from, are you going to keep saying your high school? Are you going to say Iowa State now? Well, I said I said, uh, I said said Iowa State for a while, then I switched it to the high school. I, I try to go back and forth. Uh, we had some issues, uh, me personally, uh, with Iowa State, just as far as like um, 
some things went that I didn't agree with while I was here. And uh, afterwards, uh, the way I was projected as far as uh, it seemed like I got more pub and more hype when I left than while I was here. So uh, we had some issues with those things, but that's all under, underneath the bridge. And uh, like I said, I switched back and forth from year to year, so I don't know which one I'm gonna do. I might do my elementary school, so <laughs> you never know. How are things with the Eagles? Uh, is that a good thing for you? Oh, it's a great thing. It's um, I, I couldn't be more pleased with the, uh, the situation. Uh, it, it was getting time uh, in New England where it was time for me to go. And, uh, you know, just uh, as far as business-wise and personal-wise, and uh, it's a business, you know. Uh, people, you know, fans, they get sad or they get emotional either way, whether they're mad or happy that you're gone, this or that. But uh, for me, it's just business. You know, understanding that uh, we're moving on, my family's uh, supporting me 100 percent. Like I said, I can't be more than pleased with the uh, situation I'm in right now. Are you going to use this degree when your playing career is done? Uh, yeah, I, I use it now. Like I said, the, the DVD I've already made. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to uh, fish it around to a couple of organizations see if they want to do something with it because uh, we did incorporate uh, football into it. Uh, as far as uh, it was a DVD that just teaching kids about the phrases of the game, phrases that you might not understand that we're saying out there and things. I drew a little character uh, to kind of relate to the kids and things like that. So uh, I plan on using it afterwards, uh, whether it's in something else or you know drawing up logos for my businesses or things like that. But I definitely plan on using it. Great. What sounds? What what means more to you, NFL player or college graduate? What means more? I think uh, neither one means that much to me as uh, the name behind it. LSA Charles III. You know, I take more pride in my name than anything I've ever gotten because, uh, you know, I, I was born with the name and I'm going to die with the name. That dash in between uh, the year you're born and the year you die, you know, that, that's what you make of it. You know, so anything I do, I'm more proud of the, the fact that my name's behind it because anything that I do, I stand up behind it. So it's all the same. Ellis is a good kid. He's a real good kid. I asked him what means more to him, NFL player or college graduate, and he didn't really say either one, which means more to you. Actually, both is very high, but getting a college education is very important because NFL is not always promised, like I said before. Uh, having an education is something that you can go forward with. If you leave the NFL tomorrow, you can always say, well, I'm going to go into graphic design, and I have a college education from Iowa State. So having, a, having, a, having an education is very important. Can you describe your emotions today? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Probably catch me about 20 minutes and I have tears running out of my eyes, but <laughs> I think it's, it's very high. It's a very high emotion for all of us. Just taking out his cap and gown and actually having to press it and <sighs> it, was, it was a good feeling.